Well, I am going to walk up something very colorful and give you a treat on this program. You know what it is? It's so colorful, I could hardly wait, you know, to see it. Now, this whole program is devoted to the seafood, particularly to a special kind of seafood called the prawn or shrimp. Now, the first one we are going to show you is to put the prawn in the paper. But before I go, I want to show you some of the experience I have last time when I was in Hong Kong. Look at that. Oh, the pretty girl, they all dress up for me. These are the fisherman's wife. Look at that, they're all having a lot of fun with the fishing net. Now, these are their husbands, I think. I don't know who they are, <laughs> but who cares? Now, so they are coming, and then uh, just to uh, get themselves ready to go out fishing. The girls are so happy to see them go. <laughs> he said, now there you are. Hey, you don't have to say goodbye. Just hurry up and then get on thinking so that your boat can go faster. See? Now, he, oh, this man was listening. So the girls were having a lot of fun. Hurry up and then go away. That's what they say. <laughs> oh, in this net to go out fishing and get some shrimp. Now, bye-bye, Joy Keen. You know, that's what they say. And the men are all going out fishing. A lot of fun. They're very colorful in the film clip. And I hope you enjoy this. It's very colorful. You see, the whole thing is handmade with silk and a lot of work. Just like the dish that I'm going to make for you is called prawn in paper. Well, we're going to use some paper and wrap up the prawn, hide them up, and then, or hide them in, okay? And then we can uh, work it up and then send it out by air mail. Hopefully, the fishermen will get them. <laughs> Why don't you join me to the counter and let's walk up a storm, okay? Let's go. Thank you. Now, the fishing net. Actually, sometimes you can use it to catch the prawn or the shrimp. Now, this is a prawn, a big prawn, you know, like this. Okay, with all the whole thing, even have the legs and the shell, all those things, and the, the tail part, butterfly style. Look at that. Oh, they have this so that they can swim going up and down. Now, this is just like, uh, you know, those mermaids. Oh, I love to meet the mermaid, but I never get a chance to meet her. Anyway, it's not easy. I've been walking so hard, I don't have time to make any appointment. Now, all you have to do is just get some of this prawn and some of it called the bamboo shoot. Shoot. A shoot. And then you get some of this green onion. You know, right there. And then just uh, get the thing organized. And then to wrap it up, I have a special paper. Oh, that's called the rice paper. It's why it's so special about. Because not only you can write on it, but also you can eat it. It's very really useful, you know. Don't use the ordinary paper and try to eat it. Otherwise, you have an indigestion <laughs> or belly ache. They call them belly ache. <coughs> now, the second one is called the shrimp war bar, which is a kind of special, you know, Chinese soup. So make sure you stay there. Write it down, okay? Let's put on our apron and then see what happened. All right? Now, my apron have all the good saying. Right there. There you are. <laughs> what in the world? Really interesting. Now, first of all, I will get some of the oil here too, first. Okay? Now, put some oil, you know, in here. Otherwise, you won't be able to cook if you have no oil, particularly to do this dish. 
called the paper wrap prawn. How much oil do you need? You don't need much. Just get a measuring stick. You know, roughly about one inch. This is less than an inch. Okay? What it means is that you don't need much oil so that you can cook it faster and then save oil. Now, what do we do? We get the prawn here first. Get this prawn. This is prawn. Prawn is a big shrimp. That's what it is. Now, then you get a knife, a cleaver. Are you ready? I am ready. Oh, there you are. You get some of this prawn and, and then take the shell off first. All right, now this is the way to take the shell off. You hang on to the leg. Hang on to the leg and then pull it. Now go around. Just hang on and then you can turn the prawn. It's called a roll over. <laughs> roll over, my prawn. That's it. Now, the one more time. You just hang on to the prawn's leg. Prawn's leg. And then you can roll over and get the whole thing done. Oh, there you are. When it comes to the end part, the tail part, now then just be careful. That's all. Now, all you have to do now is this. Put it onto a plate. And then you cut up some of this, uh, what we call the bamboo suit, into thin slices, like this. Don't make it too big. Now, that's all you have to do. And then get some of the green onion. I have two, four, six. Six prawn. So you can make more if you want. Now, there you are. Get some green onion right there. First thing you have to do is uh, put some of the, what we call the cooking wine. All right, a little bit cooking wine. And then some of the light soy sauce. OK. Oh, just put it there. And then make sure you get some of the five spice powder because the five spice powder is going to add some nice, you know, uh, spices to it. All right, you get your five spices. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Then you mix all those things. OK. Now, then what do you do? You get some paper. Get some paper. This is the rice paper. So make sure your counter is dry. Otherwise, the rice paper will get dissolved. Dissolved into the, your cutting board. OK, now, this is the rice paper. Oh, make with rice. So thin, you can write your name on it. Now, then what do you do? You heat the oil. And then you get this prawn, mix it up, and you get a piece of this, uh, what we call a bamboo shoot. Put it like this. And then put your prawn, you know, right there. And then put a piece of green onion. Now then you wrap this thing up just like this. Okay? Now you cannot do this ahead of time. Because if you do, then the moisture will soak through those paper, the rice paper. Then you will have a flat tire. <laughs> okay. Put some egg, something like this, and then seal it. This is called an envelope sealer. That's it. Now, then you put it there, and then you go and get another one. Keep going until you run out of prawn, of course. There. Put it there, and here, and then there. Roll, roll, roll. Just this. Very easy. Just like the way you wrap your Christmas gift. <laughs> now, that's it. That's another one. All right, I am going to do a couple more. Couple more. All right, couple more. And then I will deep fry this. It doesn't take long to get this thing done. Now, see, there you are. Thank goodness, it doesn't. Otherwise, uh, you will soak through, you know, all those things. OK, one, and then another one. That makes a couple. <laughs> Two makes a couple, right? Otherwise, it becomes an odd couple. <laughs> There you are. That's it. Now, OK. Because I don't want to keep you waiting, so I mix some more. So all together, I have about eight or nine of this. OK, now then you heat up the oil. And then use a medium to high heat. And you put all the envelope in. One, and then two, three. Now put it there. Medium to high heat. OK, now that's all you have to do. OK, now isn't that fun? Now, put it in slowly. Don't dump the whole thing in at the same time. Uh, or, you know, too hard. Otherwise, 
the, uh, the oil will come out and then they catch you. <laughs> and that's not no fun at all. That's no fun. Absolutely no fun. Right. Now you deep fry this. Oh, how long do you deep fry? You just have to deep fry this for two to three minutes. That's all. Because the paper is edible. Edible paper. You see? This is the same kind of paper as you get on Sunday in church. <laughs> right, because it dissolves, you know, right in your mouth. You know, right there. Oh, okay. You just leave it there, and then you tidy up your counter. Tidy up, and then you are ready. Once in a while, you should check and make sure, you know, this thing is not uh, overcooked. How do you know it's overcooked? When the whole thing turns back. <laughs> that is the overcook. No, but it's not, though, right? You look at this. Oh. Now, you should eat this right away after it is cooking. But I must warn you, when you're eating this, make sure you take it easy. Don't have a big bite, because the inside could be very hot, and the outside might not look too hot at all. So it can fool you. Fool you! Right, that's right. Very be, be very careful. Now, that's it. Now, then it's, we are getting ourselves organized. We get a plate. Get a playful of this thing. All right, now then you can decorate that. What am I going to do? Let me see. Now, I got some of this uh, called the pineapple ring. Oh, it's not ring anymore. <laughs> <laughs> After this, you know, there's no more ring. Now, then you put this red cherry and say, say hello to your prawn. And then what happened? Now, you get some of this, uh, what's going on anyway? Now, cut a piece of a uh, green onion, you know, like this. Oh, now I want to show you this. Now, you cut it like this, and then you use a knife, sharp knife, and go down. Oh, now make sure you go like that several times. Okay, now. And then you go to the other side. Do the same thing. Not all the way down, just halfway. And then you just walk over to put it into the icy water. And then it should come out like this. <laughs> right. There you are. That is so quick. <laughs> now, all right, then you will pick up this uh, what we call the paper wrap prawn. All right, from here. And then you get your chopstick. Oh, I drive the cameraman crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, then is the lady's thing done. Lay it down all the prawn. This is called a paper wrap prawn. Very crunchy and exciting. Now, I'm going to move this, and hopefully you can see this really closely. And don't walk away, because I've got more interesting to show you. Now, we are going to quickly, you know, cook up something. This is called the shrimp war bar. War bar means from the pot, the rice crispy, Chinese rice crispy. <laughs> Actually, this is a cooked rice. At the bottom of the pot, every time you cook your rice, if your rice got stuck to the bottom of the wok, then you get it out and save that. Ten years later, <laughs> then you deep fry it and then cook up this special thing. This is actually a soup. All right, now I go to get my soup. A water. Water! Come on! Turn on the water! That's it. Now get some water here. My goodness. The other day, I uh, dropped my 25 cents into the sink and cost me 20 bucks to get it back from the sink. <laughs> Wait, okay, war bar, shrimp war bar. Now, I get some water there, okay? That's what I did. And now I get a chicken in a bag. <laughs> to make my chicken soup stock, you just get some of this chicken. Well, anyway, that's what it looked like. This is called very compact chicken. Right there. All right, now, nothing to see anyway. Don't look at that. Oh, yeah. Later on, you will see the chicken. Enjoy the jacuzzi. 
All right. Now, then you get some of this thing. Oh, get my old oh, rice crispy, you know, right there. And then get our prawn. Oh, this is a prawn, you know, right here. All right, little prawn or shrimp, whatever you want to call. If it is small, you call that shrimp. If it is big, you call them prawn. What the heck? <laughs> they are the same family. Anyway, now you get some of these uh, snow peas, Chinese mushroom. Looks like this. Okay, after you soak. Now, this is beans them. I mean, uh, shred them. Whatever you want to do. Now, all right, this is a bamboo suit now. You just cut it up into small pieces. If you like, you can get a little piece of uh, carrot. I just happen to have a small piece. <laughs> just happen. Now, then you just cut it up, you know, like this. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, this is very neat. Called needle. <laughs> the children, they call them the needle. Isn't it? They talk funny language, don't they? <laughs> now, you see, they are needle. Then you are bring up, you know, you are whatever it is, the chicken soup stock. Now, while you're waiting for it to come to a boil, then you get some salt to taste. Oh, this is the salt. And then get a little bit of pepper. All right. All right, Sergeant Pepper. Hoop, hoop, hoop. <laughs> Three times, three hopes. Oh, that's it. Now put a little bit of Chinese cooking wine. Oh, a couple shots. And then you make a little thing called a star solution. You need a big star solution. Okay, but why, before you make your solution, you should put all the stuff in. All the prawn or shrimp, mushroom, snow peas, carrot, you know, the whole thing and bring it to a boil. This is called the singing in the walk. Singing in the walk. <laughs> Even Gene Kelly. I think he was walking around quite well. Before he danced, you know, he knows how to walk. Now, you get a little bit of this uh, two tablespoonful, I think. That's what it says on page 95. <laughs> Two tablespoonful of water. No, not really. Two tablespoonful of water coming. Two tablespoonful of uh, tapioca starch. Called, uh, how do you get this anyway? Now, you just use this scoop and then mix it up. Oh, it's not easy because it's just right, you know, see? This is specially made for dissolving this. Oh, yes. Now, then what do we do? I don't know. We will uh, <laughs> try the taste. I guess uh, I have nothing to do, so uh, this is good. Wow, then you get some water. I mean, a uh, broth. Oh, this broth is fantastic. Oh, you should try this. Mm. Wow, just fantastical. I mean, fantastic. <laughs> really good. Now, try an armor. Mm. Oh, I think I can live with this thing, you know, alone. Okay. Mm. That's it. Now, then what we have to do, we just mix the star solution. Put it in, into this thing. Oh, make it very thick. Okay, now, all right, just uh, wash your dishes. It's all right there. <laughs> the oil is very hot. All you have to do, put all those rice crispy, you know, right in. Okay, and fish them out. As soon as they turn into brown color, you don't want to wait until it turns black. Now that's all you have to do. Now, okay, I want to show you this. Now, look at this very carefully. You put all those things right there. Oh, wow, it's hot. And then before you serve, what are you going to do? You get your soup, you know, right here. Now, listen to this. Sizzling effect. Don't walk away. I'll be right back. the storm here, I got this uh, paper wrap prawn, all in this edible paper. Oh, it's delicious. And you are over there, you got this Chinese rice crispy with shrimp, specially made for you in this program. <laughs> Hi, Terry. How are you doing? Really? Well, 
Did you enjoy the paper or did you enjoy the Rice Krispie? Well, they both look delicious. Do they? Yeah, that's right. You know, they have to be colorful and exciting. All right? Now, before we do anything, i like to read the fortune cookie, all right? Okay. It has some fortune there. That's why it's called a fortune cookie. It says, Tak sam ying sao. That means when your heart wills, you know, the hands will obey. That means whatever you want to do, you go ahead and do it. And then you'll make it. You, you try and try harder. That makes sense, does it? Does it make sense to you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Would you like to try my pocket thing? All right. Can you use your chopsticks? I'll try. All right. Now, there you are. Try it and see what happens. Can you reach? All right? Mm -hmm. Right here. See how good is your chopsticks. Do you eat, you know, Chinese food? Mm -hmm. Do you? What sort of Chinese food you like? Now, you are like doing very well, you know, right there. <laughs> okay. What, sort, what type of Chinese food you like best? You know, the north, south, or east, or west? I don't know the difference. Top or bottom, you know? I'll you, take the top. You take the top? Yeah. I see. That's very good, you know. <laughs> top part of China is very hot. That's what it is, you know, the, like the Peking and Shanghai. You know, that's in the northern part of Peking. So all the food there are quite, quite spicy. For example, even like this crispy uh, soup is very hot, you know. When you put it right, uh, put the soup right on top of the hot crispy, it really make it hot. Why don't you try it? I think I better stop talking. <laughs> I don't know if I All right. Can. Use your finger if you want. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fingers will be better. Fingers is better. That's right. Then you can lick the finger. Put it in the mouth. Use the teeth. <laughs> don't use finger to break it. That's right. That's right, that's it. You know, that's fantastic. Mm. Now, how's that? Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Use some paper. Yeah, right, why not? That's right. Okay. Now, how's that? How do you like prawn? Hot, isn't it? Really? Mm -hmm. do, did you enjoy that film clip, you know, with all the girls, you know, saying goodbye to the men? They're colorful, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very. Now, okay. Why don't you, Karen, you know, go ahead and enjoy this? And then, folks at home, I hope you enjoy and tune in next time. See you. For today's fantastic recipe, please send a self-addressed stamp envelope to this address. <laughs>